Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to take a look at the inverse relation and function. So the inverse relation or inverse function are the function that are undoing the original relation or original function. So in this numerical approach, look at here, one will be the inverse relation or inverse function uh, for this given one. And simply switch x and y. Okay, 1 and 2 becomes 2 and 1. 2 and 3 becomes 3 and 2. 2 and 3. 3 and 2 becomes uh, uh, 2 and 3, 4 and 1 becomes 1 and 4, and 5 and 4 becomes 4 and 5. And then so to graph it, uh, let's let's take a look a little bit to, to these uh, uh, okay, the, uh, graphs. So let's start with the uh, inverse relation 2 and 1, right here, um, 3 and 2. Here, two and three right here, one and four right here. No, that's just two and four, one and four, one and four right here, and uh, four and five right here. So the red one are the uh, Order pair that represent the inverse relation, and let's do the uh, original one, two and one, one and two, one and two right here, two and three. And that will be on top of the red one here, three and two. That will be again on top of this, four and one, four and one, and five and four. One. If you notice, I'm going to draw here uh, a line that bisect quadrant 1 and quadrant 3, that is y equals x. Yeah, this is the line of reflection. If you take a look, uh, the points on top of the line, this one are reflected on the bottom. Okay. Go ahead and try the same thing for this number 2. If you notice on this number two, we have the same situation. Um, um, if you look on the graphs, we deflect over y equals x. That is a property for inverse relation or inverse function. Um, now, let's take a look to uh, inverse function in an algebraic format. We have an equation now, inverse function or inverse relation, y equals 2x plus 1. We need to find the inverse function. Right? For that reason, we're going to switch x and y. Do you remember? On the previous problem, uh, on medical approach, we switched x and y to get the points, the order point that is the inverse. Okay, so we have here x equals 
2y plus 1. Okay, and here we're going to solve for y, subtract 1, and we have x minus 1 equals 2y, divide by 2, divide by 2, right? And we have y equals x minus 1 over 2. Question is, is this a function or not? The answer is uh, yes, this inverse is a function, and we, know, you know, we, knew, we use this notation. This is a notation in our power. Right, f negative 1 of x inverse function equals x minus 1 over 2. So, pause this little clip and try number 4. This one also is an inverse function, right? Uh, you can replace one so by f negative 1 of x, and uh, that's the inverse function. But let's take a look now to a problem like this. Again, the same story. We're going to switch x and y, and we're going to have x equals 3y squared plus minus 1. I'm going to add now, I'm going to want to solve for y, right? And we have x plus 1 here equals 3y squared divided by 3. Divided by 3, we get y squared equals x plus 1 over 3. And now we're looking here and we need to solve for y. So obviously we're going to take square root. And we get square root of x plus 1 over 3. Now, don't forget, you have to put plus and minus. So this one, we stop here. This is not... A function just the fact we have plus and minus tells us it's not a function anytime when you have y equals and you see the power of 2 or x you do not have a function so obviously the number 6 is going to be similar we look into that y equals x squared plus 5 we know the inverse is not a function but go ahead and find it If you have y equals plus or minus, square root of x minus 5, wonderful job. Again, this is a relation, it's not a function because we have plus and minus. We have two uh, equations there, in fact. So, what about this one? Similar, we're going to switch x and y, and we're going to have x equals y plus 1 squared. Again, we're going to solve for y the best. I mean, the, the, the only way to do it here is take square root, and we end up here with plus or minus square root of x equals y plus 1. We subtract 1, and we have plus or minus the square root of x minus 1 equals y. Again, we notice this one is not a function, is a relation. The inverse is a relation, not a function. Pause this little clip and try number 8. If you end up with y equals plus or minus square root of x plus 3, wonderful job. Again, this is not a function, it's a relation plus and minus tells us that problem. Right, now, let's take a look to problem like number 9. We have a y equals square root of the quantity 3x minus 5. We're going to do the same thing first, switch x and y. So we're going to have x equals square root of 3y minus 5. We're going to solve for y, so we're going to square both sides, raised to the second power. We have x squared here, and here we have 3y minus 5, because when you square that right side, the square root is cancelled out. 
and then here we're gonna solve for y we're gonna add five and we have three y equals x squared plus five y equals right we divide by three x squared plus five over three and this one is a function so i'm going to write it f to the negative one um, again that's not a power x squared plus five over three this is a function and let's take a look to number 10 pause it and try it This is the inverse function of the number 10. Again, whenever you have square roots, the inverse is a function. When I have, you have a power of 2, then for your original relation y equal, then that is not a function. That's, those are kind of a simple rule to remember. Now let's take a look a little bit to a graphical approach. So here we have a function, g of x. We want to find the inverse of this. So in this case, we're going to look to some important information first one is this one here which is y and zero so obviously the inverse function we're gonna have zero and five this guy right because we just switch zero and with the x and y uh, then we're gonna need probably at least one more point uh, or two more points we can look to this one for example this one is an easy one to be read well, is one and two so what will be the uh, one that is on the inverse function right? that will be 2 and 1 this guy so now we can really do this kind of graph be sure you start from uh, 0 and 5 right because the original one starts from 5 and 7 and go down right and this is the graph of the inverse function if you notice just in case you want to see that yeah 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 there is a reflection here with respect of y equals x, right? Go ahead and try this number 12. If you have this red graph as an inverse of the green graph, you did a wonderful job. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button there, right? And come back on C-Square for more math video clips. Thank you.